Alright. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, set number four, NB versus Pain. We're going to have NB's Lure. I believe he is formerly on Manor, Team Manor. Uh, against Cutie Pain, the legendary Cutie himself, who knocked out Sir Joe Kim out of ISL1. That's right. So, let's go on to the game. Looks like we have a random OBS. Mr. M is OBSing. Spying on us for MI5. In the 12 o'clock position at the Yellow Predals, we have MB's Lure in the bottom left as the Peach Zerg. We have uh, Cutie Pain. I always say this is Peach, by the way, but I'm not sure anymore. What color would you say this guy is? Tan? Tan? MI6! MI6, I'm sorry. MI5 is, uh, is, uh, is, the, is like the domestic one. MI6 is the international one. Alright. Alright, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. So... Uh, okay, I need to fix the overlay. Alright, is that good? I think that's good. So, uh, looks like we are going to have a Forge fast, fast Expand, excuse me, from Lure. And QD has gone for a, uh, a Overlord first. Now, of course, QD is his ID. I'm not calling him QD because, you know, like, I'm, like, flirting with him or something through the replay. Nope, I am, I am, uh, faithful to Shinrei. Uh, anyway, we do have an Overpool from QD. And Forge. Indeed, we do have a Forge. Now, luckily for Lear, he is going to scout in the correct direction. And, uh, and see the Overpool. Uh, now, what, what was I going to say? Um, Cutie, Cutie actually, uh, I believe, is a featured streamer on, on Team Liquid. Uh, although, I don't I don't think he's streamed recently, but uh, it's pretty good. I think his ID is uh, Agio or something like that. Uh, and Lore, I don't know too much about him. I think he's, I think he's actually British. Wait a minute, isn't, isn't Lore from, uh, from the UK? Uh, looks like it doesn't show the country. I'm pretty sure Lure is from, from England. Or from, from Great Britain. From the United Kingdom. To be completely honest, I'm still not sure, like, what the difference is between those. Oh wait, no, yeah I do. What am I talking about? Ha! I just figured it out. And oh, there is various. Oh, oh, I did not know that. Okay, in that case, he is in fact from uh, uh, from the glorious British Empire, as I am. And then we have the Overpool expand. One drone. Ooh, getting taken down by a cannon. So, um, you know, as always with uh, with players that I've beaten, I have to do a little slash brag. So yes, I have taken a. Uh, a ladder game off of Mr. Lure. Uh, I believe he was playing under Minnow Error or something like that. And uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That means we have two two legendary heroes from the ISL1. Of course, Lure, aka Various, knocked out LRM Game, and Cutie Pain knocked out Joe Kim. So this is like this is like the anti the anti I don't even know what to call it like the anti drama brigade guys. These guys, these guys are like anti-drama police. They just like knock out. They knock out. They, I don't. <sighs> Man, I don't know why this point is like so difficult to make. I'm just trying to be funny. It's just not working. This is terrible. I'm just gonna, okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna move on. We're gonna forget that point. And we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go look at what's happening here. So, summon X core, please. Summon X core, please. What? He's gonna put it on his wall? Uh, okay. So, I mean, I, I should have pointed this out, but this gateway placement is like kind of retarded. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's like just like not useful. And so, instead, he's gonna fix the wall with a cybernetic score, which makes it marginally less dumb. But it seems like 
still a pretty terrible wall. Now, now to be fair, to be fair, maybe he just like hasn't played Aztec before and he doesn't know how to wall. I don't think I know how to wall on this map either. But this seems like a pretty terrible wall. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Now, okay, so so here here's here's the issue with this. Um, the fact that you have to wait for your core to actually wall it, lo wall it off, which is still I still don't think that's tight, and that's not tight. So you're still vulnerable to Ling run buys, and now and having your core on your wall is like a double-edged sword. Uh, okay, sometimes you have maps that have re really wide chokes, in which case you can argue for doing something like this. Um, but I mean, the, the risk is like if your opponent goes for relatively quick lurkers, right? They're gonna lurker down your walls. So you're gonna lose both these buildings. And then you're not going to have Dragoons with range for a very long time. So it's getting probe died here. But you're, you're not going to have ranged Goons for a long time, and obviously you need ranged Goons to break out of a Lurker contain. So, I mean, basically you're saying, I really hope he doesn't make Lurkers quickly. Anyway. So, do, 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 do. we have a Spire. And... <laughs> da -da -da. We have plus one air weapons. As I pointed out, looks like there's an argument going on about whether lore is actually various. Um, so apparently, game like checked IPs, but now we have various actually in the chat. <laughs> wow, that's that's a little bit awkward. Okay, but but here's the thing. Here's the thing though, is that, is that Lure, okay, so the guy who claims that he's Lure is obviously lying, or rather claims that he's Various is obviously lying, because he can't be Various, because he's scanned. So clearly, clearly game's correct here, because everybody in my chat is scanned, so he can't, he can't be Various. Yes! Logic saves the day! So, this Zealot has actually not killed a single drone. That was a really impressive micro by Cutie. Who has taken a fast fourth base here. And, uh... That was actually really nice. That was really nice. Anyway. So, he still doesn't have a Hydra then, though. This is actually really risky. However, it's going to pay off, though. Because Lure's just not going to have a ground army, because he's going for plus one Corsairs. So his ground army is going to be really weak for the time being. Um, I don't know if... if Cutie actually did that in response to seeing the Simon X core spinning. Uh, I think he poked up it with Ling. So I wonder if he like he saw the plus one air weapons and he's like, oh, well I guess if you're just gonna harass with Corsairs, I'll just take another base really quickly and not make units. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if he did that, but if he did, that that would be intelligent. Haha. So I don't know what those probes are doing. Anyway. We have a, kind of a funky building placement here. It's not too bad yet. Notice I say yet, because I anticipate that his building placement is going to be very erratic. Anyway, um, we do have uh, a bit of a wall here, some creeps going down. Or sunken, rather. And the fourth base is finished, but he doesn't really have the drones to go saturate it yet. Uh, he has switched into hydro production. And I'm just like taking a look at his drone cat here. So he has a decent saturation on 3 base, and okay, he's actually going to make some drones now, uh, from these hatches. Well, of course, there's a flying around, doing their thing. Um, looks like, oh, one Ling going to suicide itself, just going to check out what's at the front, and looks like plus one air weapons has finished, indeed it has. Uh, 72 supply for lure against uh, 58 for QD. I wonder if he's going to get Burrow. Okay, he's getting Overlord speed. Is he gonna get Burrow? Come on, show me Burrow. Show me Burrow. Ah, oh, no Burrow. That's all right. Actually, I don't. It's not Sarah Reaver, so Burrow actually just doesn't make that much sense. But I don't know. I like Burrow, man. Burrow's a good upgrade. So you should get Burrow. It's fun. It's cool. It's sexy. Anyway, now you guys. Now you guys know. If you want to, if you want to get into sales pants, play Zerg and get Burrow. That's a secret, guys. It's a secret. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm pretty easy. It's not hard. <laughs> okay, Corsair is going to kill some Overlords and some Hydras here, though. I don't think they have Hydra range yet, but they do have speed. Um, do they have range? It's actually not getting range. I wonder if you got range first, then. Oh. Did you get range? 
I don't know. I do not know. He is getting uh, another evolution chamber and a queen says though. I'm gonna go up to La Hive. Wait, why do I why do I say burrow wrong? What's how do you say burrow? It's not burrow. But bar, burrow, baru, baro, buro, buro. I don't. What? I'm like paranoid, guy. Guys, you just made me self-conscious. Seriously, like you guys have to tell me, or I'm gonna do like the, the voice equivalent of being anorexic. I'm having I'm having self-esteem issues right now. I have I have image problems, except they're not image. They're like voice problems. I don't know how to say borrow correctly anymore. <laughs> I'm I'm definitely saying it right though. You guys are all crazy. You guys are trolling. Borrow. Just go ask Google. Anyway, we do have a shuttle. Is he gonna DT drop? I don't see any DTs. Uh, DT drop would be smart though, because when you go for pulse on Corsairs, DT drops are pretty good. You just like walk into the Berserk's base, kill all his Oak Lords, and then drop four DTs, and it's pretty lulz tastic. Uh, meanwhile, he's got quite a bit of money. Okay, looks like he uh, did a macro around there, but he's got no Dragoon supporting this. It's gonna be kind of easy for uh, Hydra to snipe these Templar. Yep. There goes one. Gonna get another one. Yep. There goes two, and that was for four Hydralis sniping two High Templar. I don't actually know how much energy they had. Uh, looks like these guys are the high energy ones, so perhaps those were low energy, but still, that's uh, definitely worth it. And looks like we do have Lurker on the way, uh, as well as a Hive. He's getting, he's actually getting attack and Carapace, so he's not getting melee attack, even though he's gone for a pretty quick Hive. Uh, getting a couple more Hadries here at the bottom right. He's got, uh, he's got some drones. Uh, yeah, he's got a decent saturation at, uh, at all four bases. Sorry, I'm clicking around a little bit quickly. But, uh, but yeah. <laughs> so, looks like we have a line of cannons here with one Ling just pretending to be a bush or something. Um, that's like a like ninja Ling right there. Oh, he's gonna get spotted. And random TT also gonna get spotted. Uh, and Cutie's just gonna take the inside base. So both players playing quite passively here. Um, and this is this is good for Cutie because he took the I mean he took the risk he took the fast fourth base he's gone for the fast hive he's getting uh, good upgrades and and so Lure is really the one that's got to make something happen I mean he's just grabbing a mineral, mineral only that's not very useful his opponent's on four gas already it's it's two gas against almost five he's got to do something man and he's gonna do a four zealot drop it could be good it could be good uh, looks like there's a couple of links here at the front but uh, there we go four zealot drop in the main and this kind of thing I actually like it because. Um, you know, it's it's actually rel it's actually really cheap. Four zealots is like nothing uh, compared to you know four DTs or, or two high temps and, and two DTs. So uh, you know, if you lose a drop, it's not the hugest deal in the world, but you can still be extremely effective with it. And oh, a very nice drone drill from uh, Cutie bugging out those zealots. Is this hatchery actually gonna get saved? Oh my god, I think he's actually gonna save the hatchery. Wow, really nice drill there, saving the hatchery. 187 HP. Is he gonna morph it into a lair? He might morph it into a lair. And yes, he is indeed going to morph it into a lair, so when that finishes, it will regain its HP, but it looks like we have another drop here, three Zelts and a High Templar. I think it's a mistake, I think it should be two Zelts and two High Templar, at least that's the standard. Although, I guess if that Templar has enough energy for two Storms, you only need one. But the inside expansion of QD has finished, he's got some Lurkers running out on the field now. And I think this game is actually just getting out of hand. Uh, this this kind of harassment is nice, it's cute, but it's it's not enough. Looks like we have a sunk to making the layer's actually not quite finished yet. There's a storm! Oh, nice drone pull! Wow, very nice. But the zealots, can they take down the lair? It's, are they gonna get it? It's gonna be closed. The cracklings taking them down, and it will go down without being cancelled, so he's gonna lose the extra money he spent on the lair as well. So a nice move by Lure, but uh I think it's I don't know, I don't know if this is enough. These courses, by the way, I, I wish they'd be like patrolling here. Uh, because as you can see from the positions, it's, it's going to be very easy for Cutie to drop into the back of Lure's main. So I do like the fact that he's leaving these Corsairs here, he's not just like flying them around suiciding them, he's leaving them to defend against drops. But they're not actually in the ideal position, so a bit of a blunder there. Anyway, we do have some goons coming out to add to the army. And uh, I mean, it's a decent Protoss 4, it's kind of lacking in the Archon department, but that's fine. I mean, he's, he's still only on 2 gas. And... Like there's the hatchery, he's just distance mining gas with three drones, um, just so he doesn't forget when the uh, when the hatchery actually finishes. 
And looks like uh, Lurie's gonna send out his over or sorry his corsairs once again. He's still a little bit high on the money, and oh my god, that is a lot of lurkers being made. Whoa, hello lurkers! Oh, do not follow them together. Oh man, could you imagine? Oh, a nice storm. The lurkers trying to separate, and it looks like we're gonna have a big, big engagement here. Uh, Lurie actually doesn't have that many storms left. Oh man, but oh nice, although that was a little bit wasted, but he does get some nice storms and a nice storm on the hydras as well. Cutie is not even gonna dodge. However, he just has so many units. He's gonna force his Pearls back, but no, another nice storm going down. I don't think there's any more storms though. Yep, no more storms left, just Dragoons and Zels, and they are gonna get pushed back. Meanwhile, uh Cutie just left a lot of random lurkers all over the place, but it doesn't matter. He's gonna chase down the rest of the army. The army's gonna back up there. Are cannons and a reaver here though. So he will be fine for the time being. Looks like Cutie just like neighbors the units and forgot about them. Uh, meanwhile, anything else fancy going down? No, it's just a Corsair, a drone going to the bottom left to take another base. And looks like, oh, we actually do have a, a two Overlord Crackling drop here um, in the back of the main. This is actually being surprisingly effective. The Corsairs are nowhere to be seen. These are actually two cap base lanes against the plus two attack. Uh, wow. It's plus two attack Protoss, but apparently probes are pretty good. These Corsairs are just not being very useful. And looks like a Tipaila is coming out. Fifth base has been taken. Oh, I hear things loading up. Is that is that this? What do I just hear? Aha! It's this. Looks like we have a five overlord crackling drop. And Cutie's just gonna take another base here. He's got a lot of money, so I guess that's fine. Uh, I hope he makes ultralisks or something soon. And yeah, we, ladies and gentlemen, we have the double Ultralisk Cavern. Just as I say, I hope he's making Ultralisks. He decides to go balls out and make two times the Ultralisks. What a hero. He's definitely going to get both upgrades at the same time. It's going to be so cool. Unfortunately, he's going to lose his drop. Well, no, maybe not. There's only three courses left, actually. He's going to get one? No, he's not going to get one. Wow. Well, we got a drop, though. All right, now he's going to drop. And there is the nice moving drop. On the main, oh, some Scourge actually coming in, taking down two of the Corsairs, and that's a ton of Cracklings doing so much damage. Oh my god, they don't even have the attack upgrade, but it doesn't even matter. Uh, meanwhile, what are the units doing? The units are just bugging out. Look at this, Lur's army is freaking out, even though there's only a handful of links in his base. And looks like the Weaver even going to get in on the action, but meanwhile, it looks like Cutie's going to take advantage of that... Uh, Distraction to go attack this base, but oh, look at that. Plenty of defenses here. However, this lurker contained though. Dude, this is like a giant. This is like the Great Wall of Lurkers. Just look at the mini map. That's like a lurker spread all the way across there. That's quite cool. Looks like the Filer guy didn't get, his, uh, didn't get his Dark Swarm off. The cuties just expanded all over the map. So, yeah. And there we have it. The double Ultralisk upgrades. Going Combat X style, except it actually makes sense. Good job, Cutie, good job. It's funny, oftentimes we see players making a double defiler mount, but no, Cutie, man. He goes for ultras, he knows where the money's at. So, it looks like uh, he has left his lurkers unsupported, but for some reason, Lure just ran the Zelds in anyway. When you're engaging lurkers, you're supposed to lead with the Dragoons and have them clear out the lurkers. Uh, rather than suiciding your zealots. He's bringing two reavers though, and he will be able to secure this 3 o'clock base, kind of. Uh, which is probably what he's going for, but the Zerg's taking the other two-thirds of the map, and when the Zerg has the other two-thirds, it's just not good, especially when he's going double Ultralisk Cavern, ul uh, Ultralisk, and there we go. Look look at look at how the money suddenly disappeared. Okay, like, 30 seconds ago, L or Cutie had, had like 3,000 minerals, and then he just hit the Yuki. Oh, Plague! Ah, Plague! Plague! So good. Oh man, that was sick. Oh god, look at those guys bleed. Ah. Oh. So yeah, Cutie just hit the U button and his macro was perfect. And now now there's going to be like 58 Ultralisks coming out here. But, oh, we have another drop here. Oh, we have a 2 Zella drop. Oh no, he's going after the caverns! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, it looks like the upgrades both finished though, so it doesn't matter. That's pretty BM though. Going after the Ultralisk Caverns. Oh, the drones are stacked. Ah, Debo! Debo? Looks like two can play that game. And I assume that Reaver had no scarabs since it was just being dumb. Ah, Debo! 
That was not that was not good. Oh there we go. And looks like the uh, drop in the main base of Lore is cleaned up. It's three o'clock is about to finish. And oh oh look at Lear! Oh Lear being fancy with the Rebo. Until he flies into a spore colony. Oh that's not good. Oh shit. Oh Nemo! Oh nice. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Ah, nice. Okay, so that's fun. That's good. Now it's dead. And Cutie just has like every single base. Seriously, look at this. Where are the ultras though, dude? Where, where are the ultras? Come on, dude. Where are the ultras at? Ah, Plague. That was not a very good play. Here we go, the ultras and things moving in. Dude, Cutie, Cutie's not using his army, man. Cutie! Cutie, use your army! Cutie, go, go! Go go, he's got a like a full energy defiler, it's just not doing anything. Oh, here go, the ultras in the back, but it's not that many though. And there's no cracklings to support them. I don't know what QD is doing. He's just got like way too many bases, he just can't figure out where all his stuff is anymore. Look at this, he's just like sending in random units. Wait a minute. Kitty, what's going on? What's going on, bro? I think he might actually lose his base. Oh my god, if he actually just loses this game. That would be, I don't even know. Oh, but a self storm, dude, lure. Lure, cutie's already plaguing you, man. You don't need to storm yourself. That's a little bit too generous. Like, I'm sure lure is very, very generous. Like, he's a, he's, he's in the holiday spirit, right? So he wants to be all, you know, it's like, it's the Christmas spirit. You're supposed to donate to charities and shit and just be very nice to people. So, so lure's like, you know what? I'm gonna storm my own units, you know? And, and look at this, look at this, cutie. Cutie's in the holiday spirit too. He's like, oh, oh, that's so sweet of you. Here, let me plague my own Ultralisks. Oh, uh, look at these guys. Look at these guys. Seriously, after after the game's over, they're just gonna like go to the, go to the pub and have a have some beer, just drink some beer, and just gonna chill. You know, talk about life. It's gonna be awesome. These guys are actually like best friends. Uh, so they're just gonna lose the rest of his dudes, and now he's got a base that's defended by uh two cannons. And as a uh. As a proponent of the mass cannon strategy, I am not in favor of defending a base with only two cannons. Anyways... Looks like Cutie gonna lose some more dudes, but he's expanding yet again. He actually has so much gas, it's obscene. Seriously. So 119 supply for the Protoss against 168 of the Zerg, who's just massing everything. Uh, although he didn't get melee upgrades though, so he's only got plus one melee attack because of the uh, maxed out Carapace. He's playing against a 3-1 Protoss, so he's on even upgrades. And here we go, the Ultra Link moving in. The Archon's doing a lot of damage, annihilating the Zerglings, but here come the Ultras. Here comes the Ultra Train, finally! Finally, Cutie revealing the mass Ultras. Although I guess he, he lost one of the Ultra Caverns though, so he can't make them as fast as he could just now, but you know. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, nice storm, nice position. That Reaver doing a lot of damage. And by doing a lot of damage, I mean, okay, no, there it goes, there it goes. That's dead. That was a good shot. So, Lure's gonna lose his base. It doesn't actually have any mining, but GG from Lure and Cutie. Cutie. He ends up a score 2 to 2 between these two teams. Payne giving MB a run for their money here.